Dear friends, it has been over a year since the genocidal military generals in Myanmar took the country into the darkest history, a moment of the country's history. This has great consequence and resulted great pain and suffering that destructions, humanitarian crisis, COVID-19 crisis, and humanity crisis across the country. According to the recent update, more than 1.2 million people of Myanmar are being displaced by this attack from genocidal military generals in Myanmar. Half million people displaced, took place just the period of 12 months. These man-made crises are exacerbating the crane pain and the suffering that the destructions of the people of Myanmar across the nation. Despite of this suffering and pain, that destructions, the military generals in Myanmar continue to pour out and discharging heavy battlefield weapons, including fighter jets, airstrike, heavy artillery attack across the country. As results, at least 2,000 civilians, including women and children, have been killed in good blood. More than 8,000 houses and civilian properties, including churches, schools, hospitals, community centers, and monasteries, are being completely burned down to the ground or totally destroyed by these genocidal military generals act of terrorism against the people of Myanmar. Against this backdrop of pain and suffering that the destructions instigated by genocidal military junta, the Musun season is approaching now. This placing another burden, a great heavy burden, on the lives of the most vulnerable people in Myanmar, especially eternally displaced people in high-risk area, adding a new emergencies to addressing the needs of shelters, foods, medicines, and water security, as well as sanitation and hygiene products, to meet our obligations to the people of Myanmar who are great in need and have suffered so much for so long. The Ministry of International Cooperation, under which we have the Department of Humanitarian Cooperation. Now, this Humanitarian Cooperation Department is launching a ground funding campaign to help provide humanitarian aid to the people most in need in Myanmar. Our Humanitarian Department has been coordinating with humanitarian teams on the ground in delivery timely humanitarian assistance and effectively to the most in need community such as eternally displaced people in various regions. Dear friends, with your help, we have helped facilitate over 1.1 billion 
Myanmar gets of private aid since our exceptions of last year. Here we urge you again, our donor, to donate generously again, please, in solidarity with the brave people of Myanmar to save life and to protect hard fought development games. Our team will provide up to date and total reporting on the floor of the farms and project events, of course, without compromising the safety of anyone involved. Thank you so much once again in advance, from the bottom of our hearts, for your generosities, for your support, and for your care, and for your prayer. Please hold hands together again for the brave people of Myanmar. Please let us hold our hands together again to help the brave people of Myanmar. We need your help. We need your support. We are winning this fight for federal democracy. We are winning this fight for freedom. Justice will prevail. Freedom will prevail. Democracy will prevail. May God bless you. May God bless Myanmar. Thank you. Jesuba. Help us spread the world by liking, sharing, commenting. Subscribe and ring the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest events from Myanmar. And if you can, unblock the ads and all proceeds will go to helping the victims of the military and adding of the coup.